We now live in the internet. It is the wild, wild west. Something big brewing here. People were like frantically throwing money at everything. Millions and millions of dollars. And most of the world had never even heard those three letters. NFTs. 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 Non-fungible token. Owning something in a digital environment. You're collecting something that you can't physically hold. It's a bit confusing. Before NFTs, I had never sold a print for more than $100. Sold to you, thank you very much. And then it like instantly clicked and it was like, oh no, this is gonna be like massive. NFTs went from zero to 100 miles an hour in one auction. All hell broke loose. People were throwing out big numbers. So how much did the NFT go for? 60. I literally can't even say it without laughing because it's like, that doesn't even sound true. It goes for $69 million. <laughs> NFTs are an answer to a broken industry. 56 million millionaires on the planet right now. It was a rush. Everybody sees dollar signs, they get really excited. Every celebrity seems to want a piece of the NFT world. It's just so different. Some things got completely absurd and out of hand. Jack Dorsey's first tweet selling for nearly $3 million. You could feel people losing money. And there's a lot of scammers. And if it sounds too good to be true. There's no customer service line for the blockchain. I believe 98% of them are going to zero. That's the complication that a lot of people aren't comfortable with, particularly when it comes to money. NFTs has opened up this door to live digitally. It has changed the way we think about what art can mean. The metaverse is already here. It is a new frontier where you are now the architect. That is the future. This is just the beginning.